How's it going everyone, my name is Luis, and today Nintendo invited me to try out Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee Edition for the Nintendo Switch. My hands-on had me playing through the Viridian Forest with the console docked using the new Pokeball Plus accessory. I asked you all on the community page on my channel what you would like to know about the game and despite 80% of you guys asking me about the handheld mode that I couldn't play, I'll still try to share some of my thoughts on what I did get to play. The Pokemon Let's Go series is a brand new take on the Pokemon series that looks to combine elements from the RPG line and the mobile Pokemon Go game. The two versions of the game will feature exclusive Pokemon to each version just like the RPGs have. For example, you can only catch a Growlithe in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, but a Vulpix in Pokemon Let's Go Eevee. The partner you also start off with changes between the two games with their own signature move, so you get Pikachu in Pikachu Edition and Eevee in the Eevee Edition, though that doesn't mean that you can't catch one or the other in the other versions of the game. Now perhaps the most polarizing part of this pair of games for the hardcore audience of the Pokemon series is the changes to the Pokemon catching and battle system. Pokemon Let's Go ditches the battle system that happens when you try to catch a Pokemon for something more in line with Pokemon Go. Using the new Pokeball Plus accessory, I was fully engulfed into feeling like a real Pokemon trainer. I'll admit, I totally thought this controller was gimmicky when I first saw the reveal trailer for the game. Having played it now, I was wrong. I was very, very wrong. The Pokeball Plus accessory essentially acts as a fancy Joy-Con that gives the controller a more comfortable design that truly mimics the feeling of holding a Pokeball. Using the motion controls on the accessory, you can recreate the throw of a Pokeball, trying to get a good capture score like you would in Pokemon Go. It's a bit weird to not be able to weaken or fight a Pokemon before trying to capture it though. However, the Pokeball Plus accessory also adds something that the RPG series is missing, some more immersion. The Pokeball Plus accessory actually made capturing Pokemon way more fun, capturing Pokemon in a new but entertaining way. The Pokeball accessory isn't just for capturing Pokemon though, it's a full on controller for the game. The middle of the Pokeball is an analog stick with a button on it, and at the very top of the Pokeball is another button. Essentially, this Pokeball has all the controls you need to play Pokemon Let's Go, just with the Pokeball. It somehow feels like a more enhanced version of the Joy-Con controller. The HD rumble and the speaker in the controller makes it create vibrations and Pokemon calls that makes it feel like there's actually a Pokemon inside. Now even though the capturing system has been revamped, you can still have traditional battles in the game against Pokemon trainers. That still feels very similar to what the RPG games were designed like. Your Pokemon gain experience in battles as well as just by capturing Pokemon. It's definitely a more casual system, but that's ultimately what these games are targeting too. It's not necessarily aiming to please those that want to play more competitive Pokemon, but rather offer a casual throwback for those of you that played Pokemon Red and Blue growing up. Additionally, it's trying to bring in any other people that are currently playing Pokemon Go, but for whatever reason, haven't dived into the mainline RPG games or have fallen off them. Now I want to touch on the visuals because I got some words I want to put out there. First and foremost, I love what they're doing with the art direction for this game. It looks like an HD version of what Sun and Moon was like, but with all the stroke outlines removed. It looks good, especially for the Pokemon models running around and spawning in battles. Seeing the Kanto region fully reimagined in this art style looks fantastic. I love the touches of light in the environment too, like the rays of sunshine peeking through the Viridian Forest. Character models look so much more animated and expressive, I actually look forward to battling them more because of it. My only real nitpick with the visuals right now is the quality of the shadows. I noticed that in the environment while just walking around, shadows can look very heavily artifacted and it stands out among the rest of the game's quality. Now I also wanted to address some of the questions you guys had to ask on the community page that I can actually answer playing the dock version of the demo. Can you play with the Joy-Cons attached? I assume you mean handheld mode with no motion controls, and yes you can. You can play in handheld mode using the analog sticks to aim the Pokeball, though I believe you're required to play with motion controls when you are docked. I personally didn't try the handheld mode though, so I can't really speak to how much more fun or if it's not that fun as compared to the motion controls. Is there a reason to catch multiples of Pokemon? I believe the main reason to capture multiples of Pokemon is just the experience you get from capturing Pokemon, which then levels up your party. So in a way, it's almost like battling wild Pokemon just to level up your party, but now with capturing Pokemon too. Would you play this entire game with a Pokeball controller? Absolutely, I think it's the best way to play honestly. It has this level of immersion to the gameplay that feels really cool. Plus, chances are you're going to be playing Pokemon Go on top of this game, so the Pokeball Plus can actually be used as a Pokemon Go Plus accessory, so it gets some added usability too. Is there a classic mode where you can catch Pokemon in the normal way, I assume you mean the RPG way? No, although you can play with physical controls in the handheld mode, but the capture system doesn't change, just the controls do. That's about it for today though, sorry I couldn't answer a lot of your questions because a lot of them were on the handheld mode that I haven't played and I just can't answer them with a lot of integrity right now. However, if there are any questions you have based on the doc demo I did play, please let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to answer your questions. If you enjoyed the video, then be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. It helps more people find out about my videos and I really do appreciate it. Thank you all very much for watching, hope you guys have a great day, and keep on gaming.